My name is Jahazir Bakram and I'm a senior cybersecurity engineer at Ado AI. Uh, Ado AI builds big data analytics platforms on public clouds like Azure, GCP, and AWS. Uh, so, being a security engineer, I have to face uh, multiple challenges on a daily basis. Uh, related to the network security, related to the SecOps and uh, the applications deployed on network. Being a security engineer, I have to make sure that nothing gets passed from the eyes of security engineer and, and uh, every activity of the resources and the application, those are working on the platform a lot uh, so that in case of any incident or, or any other scenario, event can be traced and mitigated at the very earliest levels. Well, there are a couple of courses that I love to teach, but if I uh, a short list them to the three of them are uh, CEH, CND and the ECSA, that is the SOC analyst. These are the three that I am most comfortable with. Uh, basically, CND course is the most versatile course I have ever seen. Because uh, it contains the remediation of the vulnerabilities and the practicability of uh, security fundamentals and principles we learn from the different courses and from the different online resources. Another factor is that uh, it doesn't only strict itself to the networks and the related thing, but it also encompasses the related fields, for example, the incident management, incident handling. Uh, another, very, another very fundamental concept related to the security operations center is the logging and the monitoring aspect. So uh, this is the course that none should miss. <laughs> Seriously, teaching CNDA is not an easy task uh, because it is very diverse. Uh, it is a very diverse course. Uh, it contains the endpoint security, the network security and the overall architecture of this network. Uh, uh, because students are not really accustomed to so many domains and it is really difficult for them to digest the diverse nature of the diverse nature of security like incorporated into the course but if they go through this course the, i i believe they won't be having any difficulties in the future life uh, related to the security perspective well, the cnd certification class wasn't that much hard for me because i really felt it very interesting uh, but the exam was overall it was uh, you can say it was hard to complete in that given time frame uh, but uh, like the incident response part was really tough for me uh, because the scenarios were so much real that it was uh, like it was difficult for me in that situation in limited time to decide what could be the best answer in that case. Well, there are a couple of things that are really interesting and good for the CND program. Uh, for example, it is a very versatile program. Uh, second one is that it is a very practical program. Uh, like it doesn't only restricts your knowledge to theoretical theoretical knowledge. Uh, rather, it tells how to apply that that theoretical knowledge into your practical life. And the third one is that. Uh, when you're done with the CND certification, you have you're in a situation so that you can move forward the rest of the certification. For example, you can opt for the CEH or the any other certification that you would like to take because it makes your base so much stronger that uh, uh, you find the other certifications very easier, very easier for you to understand. But well, CND has added a lot of value to my professional career because it has uh, added a very specialized enterprise network security domain uh, to my professional resume and also I now have a larger area to play in the security domain because uh, now I'm very comfortable that now I can be a enterprise network security professional. I don't really feel very comfortable in comparing the CND program with the rest of the programs, but uh, I would rather say that uh, if you really want to go for the, uh, for the other programs, you should go for the CND program because it will make your base so much stronger and uh, practical uh, that you find the other programs like the CEH or, or if any other program you want to opt very easier and uh, easy to apprehend and apply in your uh, security career. There are a couple of, uh, couple of advices that I would like to share. First of all, uh, go through the theoretical part very well. Cover everything, do not skip anything. Secondly, 
uh, whatever whatever written in the practical part do it with your own hands because it will make your concepts very clear and uh, you will be very comfortable during the exam when there will when there would be questions uh, related to the scenarios uh, and uh, and like that uh, and finally best of luck for your exam work hard and you'll get through the second day